when the Fallen sought to destroy us. I protected the Reef. In the end, they all bowed before me. We showed them mercy. And offered them a home amongst the Awoken. They met that mercy with betrayal. Now, they will feel my wrath. Open the reef to the Guardians. Offer the riches of our realm as bounty for these traitors. Let the hunt begin. For you guys that have not seen that, that was the House of Wolves trailer and oh my god, I cannot wait for that. I've got chill bumps and that isn't... I've seen this like many times before and it still gives me chill bumps. I cannot wait for this expansion pack, or DLC actually. I'll call it, I call this a DLC. It's not an actual expansion pack. Anyway, that was just a teaser for you guys. What I'm going to do today, I'm going into Warmind, actually, to do a quick showcase and review of the Red Death. Set this on level 30 just just to show. <coughs> Sorry. This pulse rifle. I might as well just go ahead and say it is the best in the game. The Vanguard's reporting that Fallen are tearing into machines all over the Cosmodrome. I'm starting to think, think they aren't just looting. Mm, don't place. worry about him. Whatever they're looking for, we should probably find it first. <laughs> For people, for you all who do not know, it is actually a pulse rifle. It is not an auto rifle. I was surprised whenever I first thought, whenever I all right. first heard of heard that. Barrow, we can be in the because in look at this thing. It looks exactly like an auto rifle. Just quick. It looks exactly like. An auto rifle, with the exception of the bayonet and the blood and the skull and crossbones and all the spikes. Mine is fully upgraded. The two main perks that it has on it is unflinching. It's easier to aim under fire while using this weapon, and it's self-titled Red Death perk, which heals you every time. You kill something. Literally, it's not like a random thing like the Suros is. And this is actually now way better than the Suros since 1.1.1, I believe. It has a magazine size of 27, and it is a relatively slow firing pulse rifle. Compared to the uh, bad Juju, which fires a lot faster than its auto rifle looking counterpart although this one does a lot more damage in each of its bursts than the bad juju which yeah I mean it evens out with with them really but this one the the Red Death is built more for precision 
And it is definitely, definitely a good gun to use on the Crota's End Raid. Especially at the end and on hard mode. Especially on hard mode where you don't have the chalice. I'm doing this mission. Hello there, little level 27. I think it's level 27. Um. On added on to this. I mean, what else can I can say a lot for this gun? Some of which you probably have no clue. We're approaching the shore. The fallen are using some sort of signal amplifiers. Let's see what they're but transmitting. But with the uh, the. I might as well go ahead and make a comparison between the Bad Juju and the Red Dev. As, uh, far... Okay. If you are more precision type killer and just, like, lagging behind, because this does have a lot of range. It has a pretty good amount of range on it, actually. If I can actually... Shot in front. It has a pretty good amount of range. It's not as good as a scout rifle. Obviously, scout rifles are scout rifles after all. They're almost as good as sniper rifles. But the Red Death does have a pretty good amount of range, and it doesn't have a lot of knockback. Which, well, knockback's more of a Minecraft term, but y you know what I mean. And. The bad juju does have it, the bad juju is more f for crowd control because every kill replenishes the mag. It's like you never have to reload. It's a good crowd control weapon and it fires very fast for that. But the the red death is more precision enabled. Give me a second. Yeah, I won't give you a second. I'm running off. I've got other places to Some be. Kind of ah. Distorted the signal. Okay. Not falling. Let's check the other one. Usually we do first one. But anyway, red death. Okay, okay. I'm. Gonna let me kill these guys. And then the design. The design on this thing. I'm in down the sides right now. You see a red skull and crossbone underneath the red dot and of course on these the actual the actual front of the weapon there's a fucking bayonet and that's something you definitely don't see every day on destiny and with all the other spikes and the skulls and crossbones and the blood itself on the red death they're both linked to something in skywalks Let's check it out. Makes it just a fucking a cool, just something to have, just just for looks, just as a trophy. This this gun was ultimately the a guardian killer, the guardian killer. Skulls and crossbones on each side are supposed to represent the guardians that it's killed, and. The Vanguard policy urges Guardians to destroy this weapon when you find it, but I found it and I'm using it because this Red Death is awesome. It would have been cool if it was a uh, auto rifle as well, but it would it would definitely not be much of a use anymore after the auto rifles got those big nerfs that they did. Honestly. The, the Soros shouldn't have got that nerf. Sure, Soros should have been an exception, but they got it anyway. The, uh, the three branch upgrades, I'm going to go ahead and cover them real quick. Um, Accurized Ballistics with uh, Range and Impact, Increased Recoil, which, eh. Field Choke, more Range and Impact, Increased Recoil as well. More Range, yeah. It's not that much of a difference, though. 
aggressive ballistics, more predi predictable recoil, which means it's it's kind of lowered. Enhanced impact, short range, more recoil. Okay, I guess not. All right, that kind of balances out really. Just, there's a lot less range, a little bit more impact, a little bit more stability whenever you put this weapon on. But this weapon, this uh, perk on. But for me, I go with the field choke because there's more range and there's more impact, which really gives it that little boost that it does need. Well, that it really doesn't need, but it helps. And then you have snapshot, which will help you aim this weapon faster, it, so it becomes easier just to aim it. High caliber rounds, which they stagger your opponents. Not really in PvP, but more in PvE, like with the knots where they'll fall back or just anything. But it does increase the recoil a bit, but not that much. I've noticed almost no difference. And then there's a single point sling where you can switch weapons faster and move quicker while you're ADS. This is just a well-balanced gun, but the the rate of fire it, it is one of the slower pulse rifles compared to like, definitely its its other exotic counterpart, the, the, the Juju. I'm just gonna say Juju because I'm lazy. Let's go ahead and give us gun a real test if I can get off of my side. Okay, we're in the actual good part of the mission. The part that'll really put this weapon to the test. Just give you a little bit of gameplay footage with it. Most of these drags are just one burst kill, in the head especially. Elder Vandals, two burst in the head. Now these captains, the ones with the shields are always going to be a bit more. Especially where these fuckers are working. But once you actually do kill them, with my high caliber rounds on, it actually takes about two bursts to kill them. It will, like, oh I forgot about you. I always forget about that guy, he always comes up and fucking or tapped into something in the back of the room. Let's check and see what... Light switch. Ooh, that would have killed me. Ooh. Ooh, I'm sneaky. Actually, he thinks he's sneaky, but I'm the sneaky one. Oh, God! That's different. Shit. Vegas. Anyway. I, I hate light switch on this one. It, ha it They put it on it all the time that it's on... They actually do it for the daily. I, I hate it. <laughs> because of Blade Dancer, mostly. I don't see why it doesn't get that perk. Does that mean it goes on darkness? Why not just have it to me? All of the motherfuckers. All melee damage increased. It's kind of like the, uh, the buffs. Solar damage and stuff like that. Ah. Oh, you move. So that took about four bursts just to get his shield off of him. And then one, not including the one that took his shield down. Because it did take a substantial amount of health away from him. I will say though, whenever you, if you have an angry modifier on, or tapped into something those, in the back of these the room. high caliber rounds won't matter. Because they will not stop for anything. 
dealing with your shoulders. Oh, there's another one. Oh, shit. Bicycle just turned into a. No, bad vandal. Anyway, let's just continue this. I will get through with this. I've already died once, I'm not dying again. I'm gonna perform a across the room shot as soon as I get rid of this fucking captain. Like a boss. Like a boss. Invisible. The are trying to access these machines. Now. But something is fighting back. This will take some time. It's Rasputin. They come in from over here. As long as they don't get you first, you can leave them here and then go back and just kill them off. Overall, this is just a good weapon. This, this is a good general weapon. Except for being up close because of the slow fire rate. That's its only drawback. That is where you would rather go with the bad juju. Especially if you're more crowd control. If you're like up in the face. It's definitely what you want to go with, this bad juju. Leave the red death for frozen. But this is this is definitely worth the 23 strange coins that Zer sells it for. And if you get it from Crota's End or any of the other in-game activities, then consider yourself lucky. I have to, I had to buy it off there. And I want to see him sell it once. And that was the time I bought it. That was way long time ago. Trust me, next time he sells it, I'm definitely buying another one from the other two characters. I love the Red Death. It's my most favorite. It's my favorite gun in Destiny. Anyway, I believe that it wraps this one up. Uh, my next gun review will either be Mada Mota Tool. Um. Or the bad juju that I've talked about a lot in this episode because actually I think it I I will do the bad juju next and how to get it because the uh, the bounty that you go through it's pretty uh, it, it, it's got a lot of crucible stuff to do with it and honestly I hate crucible but it's worth it for that guy. That is a good gun as well. Slice some dice. Anyway, guys, that about does it. I just earned a quick. Just uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, I guess. I don't really feel like ending it. I'm just gonna go ahead. Just finish off this little, last little bit. So I will talk to you guys in the next episode of anything I do. See you guys. out everything they managed to steal. We should destroy this thing. Didn't get much. Kept hitting an active firewall. Old Earth. 
Russian. The legends are true. A war mine did survive the collapse. Rasputin, an AI built to defend Earth. He faced the darkness and survived. And he's protecting something here in the Cosmodrome. We have to find a way to reach him.